Is this thing on? It says we're live. We're not live, we're are live. we? Are we? I didn't put the wrong one in here, did I? I hope we're not live. It's live right there. Does it always say live? Right there. Oh, record only. I don't think we're live. Welcome to episode 45 of Wrestling with Rip Rogers at Lila Studios today, baby. December 30th. Look at that, Rip. I'm right on. I think, wasn't it? December 30th? Yeah. December 30th. We are on fire, baby. On fire. What's up, Rip? Are you sure this is episode 45? I don't know. Is it not? What is it? I don't know. You're the brain. Then why? I mean, why are you doubting me if you don't really well, know? One time Am I sure? And then you don't even know if it is or not? I mean, I, I don't know anyway. I, I, I rely on you for everything. You know that. I'm not sure why you're asking then. Like, why why are you putting down my mind? Now I got to look it up. Yeah, because the live we did, we, we counted as episode 44. And that was when your best friend, your childhood hero, Manny the Weasel Valverde. Why, Rip, you don't even have your what? freaking microphone over here. Well, usually. I mean, my have... goodness, man. Well, I got to adjust look, my coffee. And coffee. Oh, my God. Yeah. And my phone charger thing, you know. You never really talk in it anyway. I'm not sure I why. You always anyway. put it over there, and then you always look at me when you talk. It makes no sense to me ever. Don't understand it, but you continue to do it. I guess you just don't want people to hear you on, on our show here. That's it. That's, that's the reason, huh? <laughs> I mean, how many promos did you cut back in, back in the wrestling day and then – not ever talking the microphone. Did you did you do that a lot or no, never. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't have <laughs> why do you do it on this I show? I didn't have a coffee in my hand and we was talking about other stuff and I, I have to worry about my phone because it's it's you know so what you're saying is I shouldn't provide coffee and drinks and food no, what, well, well, for this what, show well, so you can focus on the microphone. Oh, well, what it is is all of a sudden, well, we have to start at 10 o'clock. Okay, but I don't want you here too early. So then I'm downstairs. Yeah, you were to, late today. I'm trying. No, no, no. I, I wanted uh, to start at ten today. Okay, well, so I, I thought was, you'd be here like at nine forty today. Then we get well, the food. Was, we could get I the was food. Here and twenty the, minutes early the last time, and you started bitching. And then we could get the food and coffee. You started bitching. All that out of the then, way. And then you got so we could trying, be ready to go then, at then ten. You got me trying to plunk guitars. We had to look at Nadia Comaneci Jr. downstairs <laughs> doing the cartwheels and everything, <laughs> like it's Olympic trials. No. Huh. Hey, go to uh, Wrestling with Rip Rogers on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button. Also, become a member. Dollar ninety nine option. One ninety nine is all it takes. One ninety nine a month to be a member of the Wrestling with Rip Rogers. We're gonna start putting out more membership stuff. I put out a match last week. I'm gonna get more out there, Rip. We need more members. Tell them, baby. Give us some members out there, Rip. Well, if they listen to you. They don't listen to me. They no, can't they, hear. They is, can't hear me anyway. You said. What is this show called? Wrestling with Rip Rogers. They're gonna pay a dollar ninety nine to hear you, not me. Also, Amazon.com, Rip Amazon. Rogers, Amazon. the book com, on pro wrestling lessons from Rip Rogers. Greatest book I've bought in great. many, many months. In many, many months, ladies and gentlemen. And let's see how many subscribers we're up to today, Rip. Do you have any idea? Uh, no. Get us a subscriber count. Hey, go subscribe to Holy the channel. shit. We're on fire, baby. 2,145. I remember Rip. when we had none. I, yeah, you said we started with four, remember? I know, but that was a rib. Oh, now it was, now. it was, we didn't start four or five. Now you remember when we really had zero, huh? Yeah, uh huh. Oh, wow. Now, hey, who, you know, who was the first subscriber, do you think? Oh, me, of course. I still ain't subscribed because you know they got they want all that pertinent information. Yeah, rip. Um, <laughs> something might do me. I don't want to end up like Andrew Tate, you know. So I'm looking at our, our analytics in YouTube, uh huh. Well, with you last night, Rip. Anal, anal what? Anal Analytics. And I said, 59% of our views are people from people who have not subscribed. And you said, what? Well, why wouldn't people just go ahead and subscribe? Because and I, I said, well, you that. haven't subscribed. Because the pertinent. Oh, so I, was, I was reading the guy's NBA thing. And he had 90 some percent to look at all his shit. He was. They don't. They haven't subscribed to him either. You know why? Pertinent information. They're wanting to know everything. Then they can get a hold of you, see if you're in the Illuminati or if you're what if you're, if you're gangster or whatever you are, and they, and they can put you in prison, and throw away the key, and you can't say anything. Hmm. Except I'm blessed by God. Yeah, we better quit. <laughs> we better quit saying that for the time being. Okay. <laughs> Taxi. Uh, call the police. 
I don't know what this direct monitor button means. Do you know what the direct monitor button means, Rip? I don't. I can't even see that far. Oh, huh? we're gonna see. I'm not sure. Maybe Drum I'll just. Roll. Maybe I'll just turn that off. I don't know. Leave that on. Hey, so last night live. So this is actually gonna be shown next week because this is not live. But last night live, we had the blueprint. Matt Morgan on here, Rip. What do you think of that? That uh, I don't really want to call it an interview. Just sit down, chat, Q and A type bullshit. thing. Boy, he was good looking. He was jacked. Yeah. He's seven foot tall. We should have never had him on. Made me look real bad. He did. He made <laughs> you look like you you was my size. <laughs> He's probably about 10 years. How old do you think he is? He mm. might be about 10 years younger than me, though, isn't he? Or is he not? I'm thinking he was. I bet he's 42. Big time. What is he? Mayor now? He's big time mayor. Yeah, he's some kind of mayor. He is the true father of the year. Oh, hell, he's seven. He's only three years younger than me. Oh, shit. He looked great. He looks real good. Man, he was a lot of fun to be on here. So go go to our uh, channel. Go to the live section. So you guys might be missing some of our stuff. Because when you go to our channel now, click on the live section. You can see all our live shows. You can see our live streams. We've got Renee Dupree on there live. we got now Matt Morgan on live. Now it's up to you, Rip, to get another guest, man. Who, who's going to be next? <clears throat> Maybe Mark Jindrak. i got to reach back out to him. Any mm -hmm. other any other people lined up, Rip? You look like well, you're... I was, um, thinking, I was thinking females. Okay. You know Who you got? I don't know if she's got anything to do with wrestling, but she's a good time. Who you... <laughs> Will she come on the show? <laughs> Pro I hope. Ooh. <laughs> hey, that'd be awesome. Yeah, that would be, be great. Everywhere. That'd be a whole different uh, show, Rip. <laughs> Well, we might get. Oh, you got Mandy Rose coming on. Uh, ooh. Have anyway, you, did you subscribe to her thing? No, I did not. You got to pay to do that. Well, that leaves me out. So uh, I mean, pay a lot more than a dollar ninety nine. I'm asking for this show one ninety nine. Be a member one ninety nine. Go subscribe. All that good stuff. Buy Rip's book. We got all those plugs in. Um, I also got Sim Bodie's uh, interview. I still got in the can. Rip haven't put that out yet. I don't Shit. think we've even talked about him. That was a pretty cool interview too. Yeah, he's so he's so intelligent. And when and I he had a live stream on or whatever, and I was he's an excellent coach. I think he's he's in Las Vegas. And uh he's he's really a, a good teacher. He's real patient and he's no warlord of weird out there. He's just uh Ex explains it like a, a great coach would. He wasn't like me, uh, yelling and screaming and calling them dumbasses and stupid and stuff like that. He's the way you're supposed to be. <laughs> I don't know that being a nice guy is always just the way you're supposed to be. But Well, I guess it's like being with women, isn't it? If you were just nice the whole time as a oh uh, wrestling God. coach, I don't – I mean, how fun would that have been? We wouldn't even have had a podcast to do. Well, we we just sit here and talk about nice stuff all the time. That'd be that'd suck. Oh, I was what a nice guy. Instead of are. saying, hey, my question to everybody is, hey, did you ever get the ding, get the fuck out of the ring? The fuck out of the Instead, ring. I, everybody come on and say, oh, hey, did Rip ever say, um, you look really nice today? No, I didn't. I mean, how, how fun would that be? That'd be a great podcast. Oh, I'm sure Sin Bodhi, Sin Bodhi, I always say Bodhi, Sin Bodhi. I'm sure he's not always just 100% Mr. Nice Guy when he's a uh, wrestling teacher, but. He really did like um I, I'd seen him on TNA or whatever. He he really kind of scared me. So when he came to OVW, he was in my class for a little bit. And I think it was either you put us together in in a in a in a drill or is it one of those battle royals you had? And all of a sudden it's me and him. Uh oh. And I was like, yeah, he's not bad at all. He was he was working you, man. Yeah, he was light and easy and fun and nice. It's just, cool. It was just like Stan Hansen, right? Probably not. Okay. You, are you talking loud today, Rev? I feel like you're in whisper mode today. I'm sort of in whisper mode, but you, know, <laughs> let's but get, you got your let's heels get out of whisper. I got, I got a, you know. What you got on today? I got uh, another another shirt on, but you can't see it because on the the screen here it says Wrestling Rip Rogers, and you can't see it. So let me take that off. Uh it doesn't matter. I think I. I mean. I put it on last night so because I noticed every time we do our, our interviews or, or our lives with people, especially when we do live and we had like Mondo come on and Randy mm -hmm. come on, there's no name on it. So I added the name. Uh -oh. But on this show, we've already got it right there. I don't know if I can take that name off right now. See, it says live 
on there on, it's on the top left i don't think we're live because there's no nobody in here and if we were really live rip you know how many fans we have i mean this thing would be blowing up with people probably if we were actually live we'd have chatty kathy on there and and don buckshot kid all the top stars what's this what's this Watch boom it. now you can see your shirt rip now mr now, what, technology what i don't know yeah it says living you're still the dream. i mean it's actually on that camera you're still and then I got that other kind way. of a no see, it says living the dream whose shirt is that though who made that shirt uh collar and elbow oh man hmm. you get paid for that no i was at some <clears throat> i was at some show or, or convention or whatever and some guy come over give me four t-shirts i said oh that's cool thanks he get, he, I guess he thought I was over. Mm. I said, do I owe you any money or what? <laughs> so, but I asked him that before he gave me the, the shirts. Man, you know, last night I forgot all about it. I had Matt Morgan on here, and I had a clip all set, ready to go. Of the, the, of the Battle Royal thing? For Matt Morgan. Is that the one Bobby Lashley was in? And I didn't play it. Oh, that's it right there. Gonna well, they can't. Now? They can't see it yet. Well, they can't see it. Okay. And then I text you. I said, "Man, I forgot to play that." And you're like, "Oh, I'll play it tomorrow." Yeah. Well, which really defeats yeah. the whole purpose of me having it ready for Matt Morgan. You know, playing it tomorrow. You know, you know what I'm well, saying, right? I mean, but if I you mean, got if you got live content with a lot of people, that people know why not just show it to him anyway? Well, I'm what going to, but I wanted to show Matt Morgan. The whole idea was, hey, we got Matt Morgan on. I'm going to show a clip of me and yeah, you, Matt Morgan. Yeah, some people didn't know who Matt Morgan was. Now they got, now they're introduced to him, and now we see him in a match. Yeah, I tell you, you got an answer for everything. I do, don't I? Jeez, I'm just like Christmas. I learned that from the King. You got an answer for everything. I learned everything. that from the King. It's like my daughter. <laughs> Look at that, Ken Ken Doan. Yeah, Bobby Lashley. That's seven. Mordecai. Yeah. Bobby Lashley. Matt Morgan under the hood. There's Matt Matt, Matt, Matt Capitelli, Capitelli in the background. Capitelli. Johnny Jeter back there. Yeah. Uh, there's Kenny Doan again. All the top stars. Um, Antonio, the Thomas Promise, which I also want to get him on the show sometime. Romeo Rose uh, Roselli, I think, was in here. There he is right there. The um, What were they called? The bodies, the hot bodies. The What were they called? Do you remember? No. Hmm. Good talk. There's uh, Tank Tolan. He yeah. he stiffs me pretty good in this in this well, match. You probably needed. It. You probably deserved it. There I oh, am. There you are walking around doing nothing. You're just hiding. Yeah, just hanging out. You're not doing nothing. And then Idle Stevens just walking around the outside of the ring. Make no sense to me at all. How that's just he's legal. A, he's a heel getting heat. Well, you can't just. Yeah, you. Oh, can. look at me! Look at me! Boom, oh. baby! Get out of here! Look at that! Ah! All right. Uh, oh. Oh no! What, this must oh. be. This is a Muncie show, isn't it? No, 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 yeah, no. Some people were going nuts. <laughs> no, that's just how over I am oh, everywhere I go, no. Rip. Okay. And then he just stood outside the ring the entire time, made zero sense to me. The first match of the night, and then this he happens. He was waiting to get dumped like a dumbass. Uh, and, no. and, and who was the winner? I wouldn't get. I wouldn't wait to get dumped. Sure I was. Was. I was worn out. Oh. I'm trying to f figure out who. There's a little. That person, um, nope. is that Nick in the black tights, black trunks? Nick What's that say right there in the bottom? See that? Can yeah, you see down there? Not, Nick didn't have trunks like that. Well, he, he had black trunks. He didn't have anything written on his butt, uh, though. Ever? You, looked at his, I, you don't think that's Nick? No. I wonder who that is. If anybody knows who that is, right next to Bobby Lashley right there with the black trunks. God, what's that say down there? Is it? A oh, D? I, all I can see is Vaughn Lattis is lats and the, the big shoulders. Well, I had no lats, so you're not seeing those. Okay. Uh, there we go, man. That's what I wanted to show Matt Morgan last night. I was over when I ripped. He was the, that was the greatest match we had in uh, Muncie that <laughs> night that you were in. Or you, you weren't even there. You didn't even go anymore. You went two years. You went the first year with Cena. Uh -huh. You went the second year when I beat you at your ass and put you out of pro wrestling forever. You did. What and an then you asshole. and then you never came back after that. What an asshole! I can't believe you just never showed up again after that. You gotta get paid extra. I think actually that's when Al took over the advanced class or whatever, and he came and booked all the shows. And surely Al didn't watch this, does he? Does I throw him under the bus? He shit. He might be. He might be watching it right now, and it's not even live. And he found a super secret way to do it. <laughs> He's probably aligned with Andy uh, Tate, you know. 
Top G. Top Top G. He's blessed from God. Yeah, we ended up doing that. And then uh, next couple shows we ran in Seymour. I was on like first five minutes with uh, Has. What was his name? Um, Alejandro. Gee, um, oh, my God. Wore the hat. They, it came out with Umaga. Yeah, I'm thinking. My name is Armando oh, Estrada. Estrada. No, Armando Estrada. <laughs> yeah, I, I was. Well, I just yeah, called I, him, I called him Sheik, right? Sheik, yeah. yeah. What is his real name? Has or he went by Has or something, something like that. Um, uh, yeah. Armando so I went on first Estrada. with him, and it was like a five minute match. Yeah, I remember. Remember when he come down from Chicago? He come down from Chicago in his car. Either he didn't. He didn't have no lights a lot of times. I don't, I don't, yeah, the lights I mean, wasn't working. I don't. So he never come in, paid his own dime, got to become a WWE fucking superstar. Then he had a restaurant. I, I can't remember if it, was, if it was back home or if it was in Vegas for a while. But yeah, it was, was like he was um, living the dream. It was like lemon. It was like steak and lemonade or something, something like that. Yeah. I think it was out of Phoenix, wasn't it? Maybe. Was I, yeah, I think that. I think that's right. But another one just come in, come in off the street from Chicago, come be bopping into to Davis Arena. Got got signed, got a job, had a fucking run, lived his goddamn dream, and said, "Damn, Billy." God, he was over too. He was awesome on WWE for quite a long time. Yeah, he had a, he he could he could really fucking talk, but he but he but he was jacked and he looked good too. Yeah, but talking was his. Oh yeah, because he tried to wrestle a little bit after that. Um, hey, you don't want to, this is totally off anything we we're just talking about, but I just watched. Did you watch any of the documentary of 360 Days or whatever it's called? No. Computer's about to die. The computer's about to die? 360 Days, Rip. Did you ever watch it? No. All right, what so was the thing about territory wrestling or something? It was the thing about being on, yeah, basically the old wrestling and uh -huh. being on the road 360 days a year. Well, that's well, that sounds about right. Usually we'd have two days off. Uh, <laughs> okay. New Year's Eve. And Christmas Eve. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not disputing that no. part of it. But they had, I mean, they had wrestlers from, I don't know, all walks of life. But right. They had some of the top stars on there, too. Like, Bret Hart was the main character or main person on there. Greg the Hammer Valentine. Ted DiBiase. Mm -hmm. um, they had a bunch of guys on there. Now, now, let me tell you about this about Bret Hart. Bret always had it easy because he was Stu's son. So, most of his career before he went to WWE... He just worked for dad. Correct. So, so he was spoiled. Now, when guys didn't know anybody and you weren't related to somebody, that was the real shit. Okay. That, that, that was okay. Survival skills. Your dad ain't going to help you. He's not getting you fucking booked. You're, you're uh, doing whatever to just get your foot in the door. You're trying to do everything the office wants because you want to come back. Because a lot of times they'd get they'd let you stay there a certain time and then, then they would help you get booked to somewhere else if you did, if you was a good job. Then later on they knew you and then and then you could come on back. You want to hold that thing? No. No. Okay. Perfect. Just move. Okay. Just move it back over there again and not use it. Perfect. I move it one way. You move it back the All other right. way. You turn and face me and then you don't talk in it. Okay. So it really wasn't about. I, I really wasn't getting to Bret Hart. But while you mentioned it, two things. One, he he made it act. A lot more difficult for him to leave home, I think, and to yeah, and to get work and things. Yeah. He, he didn't act like it was easy. Two, I just saw somebody tweet. I think it was would have been Mad Dog Bus Sawyer. Was that his name? Was he like a tweet? He's dead. He's no, 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 dead. no. Somebody tweeted it. It was a match uh -huh. with him beating up a jobber in um. God, where would that have been? Can't remember what territory it was, but the jobber was Bret Hart. Just no, no, no. It was probably Jack Hart, Barry Horowitz wrestled as Bret Hart in Charlotte. You think so? Yes. Well, I never heard that. Yeah. I mean, it was, well, Jack I watched Hart. it on my phone. It was a little fuzzy, but I mean, right. it kind now, of resembled Hart, Bret Hart. Barry Horowitz, he used to ride with me in Tampa. And he wrestled as Bret Hart? Bret Hart in Charlotte, yeah. So what would Charlotte have been called? Uh, Mid-Atlantic. I think it might have been Mid-Atlantic. Okay. But Buzz, I worked with Buzz a whole lot. And was he out there? <laughs> You're damn right he was. Yeah, I mean, he beat the he, hell out of... He he was out there. 
and he was uh, he was a good worker and he was a good shooter. But we had a good understanding, and we always had good matches. It seems like you always had a good understanding with everybody. Like everybody that everybody else was like kind of scared of or whatever, it seemed like you always had a good understanding with them. Well, I don't know. I, I really didn't have any trouble. And he was he was really good and, and only loved Buzz, Buzz Sawyer. Buzz just was so far out there that he basically cut his own throat. That was a guy that uh, he trained Magnum TA, but he uh, uh, charged him $25,000. Buzz? Yeah. Oh, Buzz, yeah. Jeez. And he had to, uh, uh, Magnum's mom had to mortgage your house. Jeez. He did that. And then he also, I'm trying to think else, who else he was training. They were, I can't think of right now, uh, but uh, he took their money and then never trained him. Undertaker, I think. I think it was the Undertaker. Oh, really? I think yeah. it was. What, I could that be wrong, up? I, yeah, I think he took their money. But I have breaking news on here on the show. Just like last night, Matt Morgan broke news about Nathan Jones quitting. I mean, no, this is I guess, so, this I is guess every, everybody else knew about it 20 years ago. Well, but, nobody yeah, knew about I did. it unless he told, said anybody. Nobody would know. And, you know, it wasn't big news then. Well, there wasn't no internet then. You know, everything was, you, you get a kayfabe sheet maybe, and you'd yeah. read that. That was uh, uh, 10 days old or whatever by the time you got to it. So what about Stan Hansen? You always, you, you always talk about erasing his name on the board. Did you ever wrestle him, and did you guys – have a good understanding yeah he understand i was scared to death of him. <laughs> did he yeah did you wrestle him before just in a uh i was in a cage match in uh columbus georgia i can't remember who it was with but he was supposed to run in and so we locked like like the cage door and he actually bent the cage and got in and i'm saying god damn <laughs> you know what i mean and I remember Ole confront me. So we go in, the, we go in the dressing room and, and all of a sudden you're hearing noise and shit, right? So I'm hitting Ole. We're throwing shit to make the noise because the fans are all crowded outside, whatever. And then, and I'm laughing. Oh, and Ole's like, give me the Iggy. What I'm laughing about. I said, Ole, Ole's registering and selling, but there's nobody there. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I spoke, uh, 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 Ole, just fucking make some gun. <laughs> he goes, oh yeah. <laughs> Awesome. That was funny, but that was a, that was the night when Stan Hansen broke bent that, it. bent that cage, and it, that that could have been why Ole fucking ribbed me and put me in the TV match with Stan Hansen when I said "fuck you, Ole," and so and said, said went, flipped him off and yeah. said, "You work with Stan Hansen." <laughs> Ole awesome. Ole loved that Stan Hansen. God S damn, he was over in Japan. Jesus Christ! Now there, he could go out there, <laughs> go in the crowd and just start pushing people or whatever. And he'd have that big whatever. He'd be swinging something. Cowbell is what it yep, was. Yep, yep. I remember him. Yeah. And he'd be hitting people with that damn cowbell and shit. Like over there, it was a, like a, a, it was an honor for Stan Han. It was an honor for any wrestler to hit you or whatever. Yeah. It, it was complete. It was completely different over there. But he was over there with Brody. They was over big time. Back to the documentary. Three hundred and fifty days. I think it was called. I thought you said 360 a while ago. Uh, 360, whatever. I don't know. I mean, maybe it was. I don't know. You should watch it, though. I mean, uh, maybe one day when you're laying down in your dungeon or whatever, just on the couch, turn it on. I think you can get it. I'll try to send it to you. But anyway, yeah. <clears throat> um, I'd watch a lot of the it. guys. Superstar Billy Graham was on there as well. Right. Snooker was on there. Okay. A lot of the guys. It started out, so it all went in sections, like mm -hmm. being on the road. Right. And then they all talked about being on the road. Uh -huh. um, you know, the rats, and they all talked about the rats. Uh -huh. um, drugs, and they all talked about drugs. So it all went in, awesome. in topics. But hey. the first one was basically being on the road. Uh -huh. <clears throat> and it seemed like, I would say, 80% of them, maybe higher, mm -hmm. All complained about being on the road. Oh shit! I which love. It's kind love of the opposite of what you road. always said. Almost every one of them complained about being on the road. I love being on the road. Why? Well, I mean, it's like a lot of times if you're in a hotel, right? We might have the bushwhackers and me and Buddy Rose in one one big room, and then I'm finding the gym and training. Buddy, he's in bed, zed out, looking for something to eat. And then you're with these guys and you're laughing in the cars, making these, making these trips, uh, fucking with the women, talking shit, being over. You're a goddamn TV fucking star, ribbing each fucking other. 
the best was riding with the bushwhackers when I'd, I'd shit in that Mason jar <laughs> and then, uh, butcher Luke would be driving, but he gave me the fucking office. He gave me the Iggy. So I'd take, undo it. And I'd put that fucking, uh, the mason jar with which I'd shit in it, and it, and all of a sudden Luke's going, "Oh fuck, mate! Oh son of a bitch! Oh cock sucker! You're fighting. you're fighting every day, mate! Oh fuck, what'd you get? You're fighting." But anyway, that was a good rip. Just <laughs> well, another, it, another day in the life. Maybe that's why they were all in there complaining about being on the road. Oh no! <laughs> you got, they had, oh, they had, hey, <laughs> hey, Adrian Adonis was leaving Portland. He lost a loser leave town to Buddy, and. They was going to the arena. Buddy waited for Adrian to leave to make sure he knew Adrian was going to get him some way. So he waited. Adrian left. Buddy waited 10 minutes. He come out of the room. And he looked at me and he goes, he got me. I said, what? How did he get you? He just fucking left 10 minutes ago. He said he shit on, he shit on the door handle. So when Buddy shut the door... He had shit all over his fucking hand. Nice. That was what a hell of a rib. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, Adonis used to have uh, piranha fish in his uh, in his apartment, and he'd tell, "Oh yeah, the fish like you to stick your finger in there and 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 play with it <laughs> like you're feeding them, and then they'd bite your little fucking ass, their, their fingers and shit." Right? He just fucking laughed. Uh, Damn. Yeah, I can't imagine why people wouldn't like that. <laughs> I think a lot of it they talked about, I don't know, being away from family, whatever. But they they would say, oh, yeah, we got to be, you know, away from family and sleep in a hotel room with four other guys. They looked at it, or at least a lot of them did. It's, it's a bad thing. Obviously, you're looking at it a little different. I thought it was interesting because, I mean, there was a few of them on there that said, you know, basically what well, you're saying. What, what was hard was like if you were a regular guy, yeah. like you had three kids, right? Yeah. And you're going to Tampa and you think you're going to be in there. It'd be like Rock's dad. Okay. Well, he, th well, he thought he was going to stay there for a year and a half, but you're staying for five months. Now he's got to go somewhere else and you got to transfer your family and you got to go to a different school. Yeah. And there's nothing worse than a kid growing up, especially when you're athletics or whatever, and trying to get in another click or just being accepted at all, going to a strange school. Yeah. And when, when you're bebopping around, it's then, it, then there's tension at home. And all the time. So if you're a single man, it's goddamn heaven. Yeah. Put it that way. That makes way. a lot of sense. But yeah. it, but if you're fucking married, it's nothing but goddamn fucking stress. Because yeah. you could be fired at any fucking day. You could get fucking hurt. And then when you got hurt, they might carry you the first day. But after that, they get uh, the show must go on. Yeah. And uh, uh, anyway. Uh, Slick was on there, too. The old manager, Slick. Yeah. Is this dad Rufus R. Jones? Oh, hell no. I could have swore he said that. He I don't might have he... said that as a rib. But Are you it, sure it's not his yeah, dad? Yes. I was out in Lila's gym okay. on the treadmill. Okay. Yes, I know I'm fat right now, but on the treadmill, watching it just the other day, it maybe he was just saying it like, uh, what's that called? Metaphorically, my dad. Yeah. Okay. Cause I but never... I could have swore he actually – because are you sure about this? Because yeah. then he came back and said that he told me – um. He couldn't run with somebody because of the drugs or whatever, and he was to never get in to drug. He said, because he even said, I Slick thought my was, dad Slick, said he Slick, would. Slick was real straight. Right, but he said it was because his dad, Rufus R. Jones, made him that way. Huh. Well, he might have just called him his dad, but I don't, I don't, I, I, I never heard of that one at all. I knew, I knew he was in Kansas City and Slick broke into Kansas City. Well, what's Rufus's, um, what was he called? He was called something to uh, like train, Rufus Freight Train. Freight Jones. Train. Yep. Yeah. You, yep. Yeah. Cause I worked with Rufus many times and Bulldog Brown says, you got to work with Rufus. I said, good. A night off. He says, you can have a match with, with Rufus. I said, I got them. I watched you have a match, a great match with him. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to do my style, but I'm going to cap copy what you did because you know what he can do and can't do better than anybody. So, hell yeah, I'm going to have a good match with him because I watched you some bitches. So, Rufus, he wouldn't break a goddamn sweat. I'd take them head, but every time he headbutt me, I'd go out of the ring and shit. Ah, Wikipedia, never okay. wrong, Rip. What's he is name? the son of professional wrestler Rufus R. Jones. Well, I don't think he is. <laughs> well, that's that's the thing on. But he he Wikipedia used to have all that stuff. Now there's Carrie, yeah. But Carrie he also Lloyd, said yeah, it because I knew his name was Carrie, Rufus's. Maybe uh, what's his name? Um, 
who's our guy that cracks his great uh guy drove blank greg smith yeah greg smith He'll maybe, know. maybe maybe he could fill us in on this yeah I mean, the thing on Wikipedia, used to, everything it had on me was wrong. I understand that, but he also slick also said it with his own mouth on this documentary. So, well, a lot of guys are kayfabe and they're just doing stuff that they did as a work. Lloyd was married to Brook Brooksy Jones Lloyd. They had three daughters, Melanie Crystal and Kendall, as well as a son, Kenneth Johnson, who worked for the WWF. For many years is the doctor of style slick. Well, maybe he was, but Drew has never told me that. And I never heard Slick say it. So I don't know. Usually everything you hear about a wrestler is, is made up. But his last name, I mean, it doesn't always matter, but right. his last name wasn't Jones. No, Not it was a, Carrie something, I remember. But that's weird because her name was Jones Lloyd, and his name that uh, Rufus was uh -huh. Lloyd, but then somehow Slick's name was Kenneth Johnson. So maybe, maybe you're on to something, Rip. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, somebody tell us out there the the history of Rufus R. Jones and and Slick. We'd be we'd be happy to happy to hear that. As Rufus would say, "I'm ready for anything, baby." Okay. <laughs> Trying to think what else was on that. Um, I don't know. Maybe we, maybe that'll be a topic for another day. We are going to go live here, Rip, in 15 minutes. We're going live. Live Q&A number nine. You know, I thought maybe we could we could end this show. It's the new year, Rip, right? It's the new year coming up. Coming yeah, up first yeah. of all, do you have big New Year's Eve plans, Rip? Yeah, I got, I'm working. Oh, okay. Do you think you'll kiss anybody at midnight? Um, I got a, about 12 young men lined up. <laughs> They're, it's okay. They're all over. They're all uh, eighteen and above, so it's okay. Move this microphone over. Well, I don't, I don't know. I can't understand why you want it. You think it blocks your face? I know that's why you. No, do it. I, I just. You want it. everybody to see your your nice oh, face well, or well, something? Look at it. He's blocking it again. I mean, I don't. I just don't understand why you keep just putting it away over there and never using it. I block my face. Look, I'm not worried about it. I don't want anybody to see my face. Well, you're busy showing them big guns. See. So yeah, you're gonna kiss flexion, twelve boys flexion. New huh? Year's Eve. Twelve boys. Um, that sounds fun. Yeah. Mate, you know how people always do like year in like reviews. Like we, we've almost been doing this a year. I think we started in February. So this is our first. We, should, oh, we could have had a. Why didn't you just have a? Since you're a producer, director, and everything else, why don't you just have a year in review and, and a clip of this? I was and, going and to, and then I but, decided. But then, to, but then you decided you was going to. Yeah, I like just, doing the show, eat, man. Just eat all day. And, yeah. and, and and gain weight like me. So, yeah, exactly. I just have to wear the belt around these things because my pants was falling down and now I don't have to. Rip wears Zubaz pants still from 1980, and they don't have belt loops on them, but he wears a belt around. Well, I have to because if not, they just I have down. to. They don't have belt loops, Rip. Nope. But I no. mean. <laughs> so here's what I think we're going to do, Rip. Okay, what, what so. What happened to the 350 days or So for, we'll get to that another day. Oh, okay. We got 350 days to figure that out. Okay, Rip, this is going to be awesome. This is going to be the greatest episode we've done all year. Ever. 2022, year in review. Here okay. we go, Rip. Your favorite AEW match of 2022. Go. What was it? Serena Deeb against anybody. Awesome. Your favorite WWF match of the year. What, what was it in 2022? I didn't see any of them. <laughs> Uh, your favorite storyline in AEW for 2022? I, um, they don't have enough announcers. Your favorite storyline in WWE 2022? Um, the favorite storyline was just Pat McAfee being on there and being a wrestleman. <laughs> there I you think. go. That's great, Greatest man. Ever. I thought you were going to say the bloodline. Your favorite? Well, oh, Sami Zayn. Oh, just Sami Zayn. There you and go. Or, or, or fucking Roman Reigns just fucking owning that fucking audience, doing nothing. Then all of a sudden he can just fucking move his head fucking two inches and the place just goes. <gasps> and then Sami Zayn just is so over. <laughs> Break, breakout wrestler of the year, AEW 2022, Rip. Who you got? Breakout wrestler? <laughs> yeah. Like the new, like a new up and comer breakout wrestler. God, they don't have any. Ah, oh, say maybe uh say your girl Jade Cargill. 
Oh, yeah, but she's been there for what? More than a year. I don't know. Just say her. Oh, Jade Cargill. Then. She's never lost yet this year. Oh, well, she's the well, she's the hottest <laughs> one on there. Did you see those new pictures of her she tweeted out the other day? No, where? Um, I think it was she tweeted them. You got nudies or somebody did. I mean, they might as well have been. Well, send them to me. Well, I think it don't you follow her on Twitter? I don't know. I don't breakout I don't... wrestler of 2022 and WWE, Rip. Who you got? Well, I gotta say Jade Cargill then. WWE, I said. Oh, we're, we are already... well, if they're gonna get Jade Cargill, what the hell, right? <laughs> Oh, then I like uh, MJF. Oh, that ain't nudies. Well, I, of course they're not nudies. And she drove and she drove down to Louisville to train with me for the weekend, right? Hell yeah. You think that's all she wanted? Maybe you misread the situation. What do you mean? Maybe she wanted more. Oh, no. Brandon was with her, her oh. man. Maybe they're former, in the... former infielder for the Reds making multi, multi, multi million dollars. He was over just hanging out, laughing. Cool. Yeah, you know, there's one way, one thing we just could not leave 2022 without doing, Rip. <laughs> Do you understand that when the clip's playing, we're muted? It says your mic is muted. I can't remember that. So you got to you got to complain about the clip. Let's try it again. You got to wait till the clip's over and back okay. in cue before you can complain okay. about it. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, that was the greatest <laughs> clip I've ever seen in my life. I've never seen you chop Randy before. I never seen him sell before. I never see the fans cheer and i never seen listen to chili's girlfriend go <laughs> <laughs> and i can just see the king shaking his head how's oh, that oh you can oh wait, wait hold, on, hold on hold on <laughs> okay we got the king on uh, there do you better than that rip i'm surprised the king didn't wasn't on there with, with having all of his his medals from being uh uh, the Medal of Valor, the Medal of Metal. Vietnam War hero. Yeah, Vietnam War he hero. <clears throat> bully at, at a bully at Geyser Park when I, my fat little butt would be on the tennis court and he'd be throwing the balls up and hit me and trying to hit me with them. So I saw uh, Chili's <laughs> girlfriend was um, in Seymour over Christmas and I told her about uh, you, you talking about her <laughs> cackling all the time. <laughs> I, yeah. bet she, I bet she got wet, didn't she? Hey, Rip, come on, man. Uh, well, I don't know. Hey, we are in a 2022, Rip. Happy New Year. We should have done like a shot today or something to bring in the New Year. I got year. coffee. We done, I got Coke. Had some kind of party, some kind of streamer, some kind of confetti coming down. We should have done something to well, end we, we we 2022. Done, we we could have done a whole done lot. That, but I got here on time, but you had me downstairs trying to tune guitars. <laughs> and I got to get on you about making me coffee. Gold, if I want a vanilla flow, creamer, so if I want sugar, I if I want clothes, cream, whatever. So and, oh, here's an extra Coke. And I said, oh, yeah, just eat one of those cinnamon donut or cinnamon, cinnamon things because uh, my wife, the woman of my dreams, she might get mad if we eat all things. And, are we all, are we done? We're we're wrapping this up. We, I'm waiting on you to do the head bob. Oh, yeah, 2022 head wrestling with Rip Rogers. 2023 rip. We're gonna get up to 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 subscribers. Go like, go subscribe, go smash that damn button. Hit the hit the join thing. Dollar ninety nine a month. Buy Rip's book. Whatever you can do to help wrestling with Rip Rogers in 2023, baby. Go do it right now and get double ply toilet paper. Thank you. I don't know what that meant, but.